Peace to the family. Peace to the family. Peace to the family. Want to talk to you guys. I had an amazing day today. Had an amazing day today. Yeah, you know, we in Miami. Had an amazing day today. And I just wanted to build with you guys about it. You know what's insane? If you go to my Instagram stories, or you go to my Brother Polite Investments group. Brother Polite Investments group. You go to my Instagram stories on my Brother Polite Investment group, you're gonna find a lot of testimonials. A lot of testimonials. All right, and these testimonials, hold on real quick. I'm trying to pin my joint to the top. Let me write it again. Pardon me real quick. Why won't it let me pin it to the top? It won't let me pin brotherpolite.com, but it's not hard to remember. Brotherpolite.com, they not let me. I made some money. That's what I'm talking about, Judith Owens. What I'm gonna ask you guys to do, Judith, I'm asking all of y'all that's making this bread, give me a 30 second video with your, your name, your city, your state, and how much money you made, or the fact you in class and you've been making your bread, you made your money back. You know, send, send me something. Send me something, you know what I'm saying? Send me something. That's what I'm asking you guys. Do me a favor and send me those. I got so many testimonials today. Yeah, I got emotional. I was about to almost cry, man. Cause that's all I ever wanted to do. All I ever wanted to do is have this kind of impact on my people. Cause I said, many of our leaders, they came and they benefited and there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of our movement don't address the monetary issues, the fiscal issues. A lot of our movements, it's like they demand so much of us and understandably so. I know why we have to ask the people to invest, I get it. But there gotta be a movement where the people make money too. There gotta be a movement where our people can make money as well. And I said, I wanna be that leader that despite whatever connotation they put around this zealousness to make this money, I'm just gonna be that leader that if the people walking with me, we gonna eat. And in that process, I had hiccups. I had people steal from me. I don't snitch. So if people steal from me, I, I take the L. People see money they never seen before because I got a large following. And I take that because I'm, I'm just not raised to tell people somebody else made an error. I made an error in judgment dealing with people. But all the while, people went out their way whenever there was an error inconsistency gossip or speculation people went out their way to say yo let me post this video and tell you something bad about him well today peace god how you doing thanks for listening my brother so you know people went out their way to spread negativity about me but i'm out here <laughs> my people oh man hold on my bad i'm out here and I got hundreds of testimonials, hundreds, people reposting. Yo, I just made 7,000, I just made 5,000, I just made 10 grand, I just made 300, I just made 200, I just made 102, I just made 500. And if you on my Instagram stories, you would know, you'll see it all day today. If you look at my first class, if anybody listened to me in my first class, and it's dated, and I'm, I'm gonna do a nice edit. I got, I got some people working on the edits to show that if you listen to me on my first class a month and change ago, <laughs> You'd have made damn near eight times your money right now. My last class, if you listen to me, or my second to last class, I spoke about Hertz, and people say, "Yo, why are you telling us to go into bankrupt, bankruptcies?" And this thing, I say, "Yo, listen, they got two more bankruptcies to go before they out of here. Yo, get them shares while they pennies on a dollar, because they only went bankrupt on account of this coronavirus. They are a car rental company. Talks of them opening up is going to work out, and if they do go bankrupt." We're not investing in them for the long term. We're investing in them to make enough money to go in and go out. It's a heist. So put that bread in. So people that listen to me bought Hertz at 80 cents, bought Hertz at 90 cents last week. And today it was $1.43. 
people said, yo, American Airlines is going to go bankrupt. They said, Brother Polite, American Airlines is going to go bankrupt. It's going to go bankrupt. I said, I hear you. I hear you. But uh, anything under $10.30, you want to grab that. Well, today, American Airlines went to $18 and change. American Airlines went to $18 and change. So what does that tell you? It tells you that if they went to if they went to $18 and change, that if you would have bought them at $10 or if you bought it at $9, what does that tell you? If it tells you that you doubled your money or you made seven times on every share, eight times on every share, what does that tell you? A lot of people made bread. My man hit me up today. I only know him because I teach. He became my man like virtually. Like, yo, my pop said to thank you. I said, word for what? I posted it. Man, he, I told him about American Airlines. I said, you told your pops, based on what I was teaching, put, put his bread somewhere. He said he bought a thousand shares on, your, on my word, based on your word. And now he made almost $5,000 today. And that don't count to JetBlue. So together, he made damn near $10,000 today. <laughs> I'm like, yo, wow. Left and right. If y'all on my Instagram or if you, if you are part of our class, you know about the BPI group on Facebook. We got a Facebook group. Let me show you how hard I go. I go so hard that not only do I teach class, I've been teaching more classes than this course is supposed to be. This course is supposed to be like three classes. But because stocks is so in-depth, I don't believe in teaching this type of stuff for a five hour class, two hour class, three hour class. So I literally do Sunday to Sunday to Sunday. I might take a Sunday off, come back another Sunday because I want you to have that work ethic. I want you to be like every week, I want you to tackle another aspect of it. So I'm working with you every week. This is the cheapest course I've ever sold. My courses is always $250, $300. This is the most effort I ever put into it because I'm really enjoying teaching because I'm really seeing the, the impact that is having on people's lives because our people are unemployed. We, we have the highest rate, uh, we, we have the most essential jobs, essential businesses, okay? Essential jobs that are essential and then here it is, we got the highest unemployment rate. Essential jobs mean that you're going around helping other people and they can't even help you out knowing that you're sacrificing yourself and your health because essential businesses mean you have to interface with people more so than any other business. So here it is, American got, America got a population of over 327 million people, of which we only make up 12%. How the hell are we leading in unemployment? So what I'm saying is, people are quick to spread gossip. Now, if they really was real, if they was really concerned, why don't they, yo, it's overwhelming. The amount of testimonials I got with credit repair, removing hundreds of thousands of debt, removing $80,000 debt, adding positive items to people's credit score, leveraging it and giving them access to six figures, whether it be two credit cards, personal loans, or business loans, what I'm doing with the course, you're paying $99 for the course and you're making back thousands. If you looked at my course Sunday, you take the information I gave Sunday, you made your money today. Last Sunday, you take that information, you made your money already. Anyone that's in my course can tell you, yo, I ain't gonna front. Every weekend, when I do my Sunday class, I throw some jewels out there. And you cannot front. The videos is published and it's on time. When you get back into the week, straight after that Sunday, if you move how I'm moving, because I can't tell you what to buy. I can't tell you what to buy, but I certainly can show you what I just purchased. And that's another thing. Who is out here? Who is out here actually showing you their receipt that I just purchased something? Because guess what? If I show you what I just purchased, you could just track what I'm doing. And, uh, yo, he must have lost money. All you got to do is say, yo, Polite must have lost money. Then you know what I did yesterday? Yesterday, I opened up a new account in front of everyone with $500. And I said, I'm going to make over $100 in this account. Watch me. For those people that don't got my $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 plays, I said, yo, here's $500. I'm going to open up a new account with Webull right now. And I let people follow me and I showed them when I made my purchase and I showed them what I did and I referenced the information that I teach in my Sunday class. Those of y'all that's following me, y'all know what it is. I posted stuff yesterday and I made $129. Could have made more. I held on to it. I was filling it out. But the goal was 100. I made my 100. I said, let me get out of here for something weird happened because y'all watching me and I got to show you the best behavior. I got to exercise the great behavior. I can't exercise the Brooklyn roll the dice behavior because that, that's not good. <clears throat> that's not good. Then what you do, you go to admin. 
because everybody else is getting the class. Go to admin. I just don't understand how people are saying this. You feel me? But listen to me and listen to me carefully. <clears throat> I go out my way to teach class on Sunday. I go out my way to give you support on Instagram. I go out my way, created a Facebook group. So you're literally getting information every single damn day of the week into class. Who's doing that? Oh, that extra effort. Don't you know I'm missing trades? I'm literally missing trades because I'm so busy cutting and pacing and demonstrating. Look, you getting discouraged because I'm using big numbers. I'm gonna come down and use smaller money and I'm gonna, and watch me trade. I traded off of three accounts yesterday. I made over 500 on two of them. And then for the $500 account, I made $129 from the $500. And, and I made that money, what was it, inside of an hour I posted? It's all documented. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Sharif. It's all documented. And I want you guys to read the comments too. Read the comments in here from people. I gained 400 on Hertz. Thank you, Ian. My, read the comments in here because our people so sick. What do you think? I got hundreds of people lying. So all I'm saying, I really thought about it, right? Cause my wife was telling me, she said, you know what's disgusting? She said, where's all the videos of people celebrating that somebody came in the community and I sold you a product that you're making money from? No speculation. It's beyond a shadow of a doubt with the amount of reposts I'm doing with people showing their accounts, showing their gains, the percentages. It's ridiculous. I haven't seen nobody, and it's not to knock no one, I, with everything everyone's selling and talking about what they're going to do, I haven't seen no one take a community of people and prove real live results in the same 24 hours within a week inside the month. I've never seen no one do that. And I know you haven't seen no one do it because you would have been with them instead of me. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> Look at this. Who said that? Sharif McGee said, I started with two grand, a stack in each account. I'm up three grand now. That's what I'm talking about. Gold in the crisis, people. You go to brotherpolite.com. I don't know why it's not letting me pin to the top. Oh, now it's letting me. There we go. Go to brotherpolite.com. Look for gold in the crisis. You can purchase the class. And then you purchase membership, and what I do, because I'm not going to keep teaching class every Sunday, I'm just doing it to exhaust many different elements of trading, because it would be wrong to give someone a two-hour class, and this is all you need to know. Oh, you only need to know this. Everything else you don't need to know. No, let people decide what it is that they need, because we got different personalities. You could use different indicators, okay? You got the exponential moving average. You might want to use that, the EMA. I like it. I like the five minute and even 10 minute charts. I like doing that. I like the 10 minute charts. I know people say five minutes. <clears throat> if, if, if I'm after the first hour of trading, I like, I like to turn the candles into 10 minutes when stuff starts to slow down. I was able to obtain three lines of credit and I am dyslexic. Thank you, Shiny White. Thank you. Appreciate you. Paying extra on credit cards advice from Broke Polite. My credit score went up tremendously. I'm 738 now. Thank you. <clears throat> All I'm asking you guys, do me a favor. Send me a 30-second video. Send it to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You can send it to my email. Send it to this Facebook. Send it to my Instagram. Your, your name. Send me your, your name, your city and state, and the success Yo, I'm in your class and I did this. People don't even be in my class just watching what my students are saying, eavesdropping and making their bread. And I say that's great. But don't be cheap. Eventually invest in yourself. <clears throat> but that's great. You can see the benefit of what I teach just by looking at what we're talking about and you just go in that direction. I do that to help people. I do it to help them. I'm glad you finally asked for testimonials. Yeah, I don't... But Brother Devin Taylor, I don't like asking for that testimonials because when you do people say it's fake or oh, someone was acting because they expect everyone to be in a, a dynamic lecturer or speaker some people be wanting to read from what they got to say but 
it's all good. <clears throat> I have little time available while truck driving, and I made some money. Abuelo, thank you. You helped me gain $4,000 plus this week alone. Augustus Nichols, can you please do a video and send it to this inbox? There we go. I want you guys to read the comments right here. Someone just said, I helped them make $4,000 plus this week alone. Look at that. Why don't people repost these kind of videos? You see, it be fucking agents out here because what they want to do is when you got something that can empower you, they want to create distrust and insecurity, make you think weird. They want to send you this video. This person said this. This person said that. But you never consider yourself when you're doing something that they don't want the masses to obtain. I may be infiltrated. And I secured myself. That's why you will not be hearing no BS coming from my circle. I got a whole new team. I hire people that's credentialed to handle certain things in particular. And I'm monitoring things because I don't want the, I don't like the backlash. I'm monitoring everything. My books is back out. I'm crushing them. You couldn't possibly be asking me what I think about GNUS when everybody done made all that money yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, Kim, I'm going to get those testimonials. I'm asking the people. I killed on Hertz. Thank you. Demetrius Banks. Thank you. 2K just this week. LeBroderick Marshall. Thank you. Please. I'm asking you, please. When this is over, send me a video testimonial. 30 seconds. Send it to this inbox. Send it to my Instagram. Please. <clears throat> I paid $400 for another stock course and it did nothing for me. Yours was only $99 and I made way more. I got way more out of it. Tevin Walker, thank you. Look at this, y'all. Read the, I want y'all to, when this is over, read the comments when this is over. Read the comments when this is over. Thank you, family. Read the comments, because I'll be posting when y'all say, y'all, I made this, I made that, I made five, geez, I made four. I'll be so happy, I can't even trade, because I just want to repost, I'm reading, repost, read, repost, read. It's exciting, and then so many people are joining the class, it's like, it really works. I'm, I'm super dope when it comes to research. I'm crazy good when it comes to research. And it's unfortunate that our brothers, they be knocking me so much and they want to date, debate me so much, they'll never realize my talent to actually do research because they don't want to recognize my research skills when I'm disagreeing with them. I made $5,000 all right by listening to you. Thanks. Calvin Daniels, give me all that. Word. So what I'm saying is, why won't people share the video? Just think about it. This is not normal. Y'all can read these comments right now with so many people that's in my class. I haven't even been on Facebook because it's hard to do all of that while preparing my lesson plans. Because I got to do charts and graphs. And guess what I do for my class? I don't cut and paste from somebody's stuff. I give you real life scenarios that took place during this week and I integrate it into my class and I show you this is what happened. This is how I was able to make my money off of this, that, and the third. <clears throat> this is what you need to look for right here. And I'm showing you slick shit. I'm showing you how to paper trade. I'm showing you how to stuff that you go all over the internet and nobody's gonna tell you. Yo, you know, they got games integrated into brokerage platforms where you can trade the same securities with virtual money as opposed to using real money during the same day while everyone's trading with real money you could trade the same securities virtually and they'll give you a million dollar balance to practice so you don't gotta fuck up your money I show you instant replays I go on the apps and I show you you know you could replay to see what you might have missed so after I teach you how to do research <clears throat> go to the instant replay of what that security did during the day or watch a 10 minute replay of what that security did during the day and stop it at moments where you realize your weaknesses and your strengths. Who teaches you that? People wanna glorify themselves like they're some special guru that knows everything. <clears throat> and that's all right, cause they might be brilliant, but how does that impact someone else because you know what you're doing? <clears throat> Class is $99. You click brotherpolite.com, go to brotherpolite.com, and go to Gold in the Crisis. That's the name of the class. It's $99, and boom, you're good. You're going to make your bread back. That's a fact. And then you join the community, and our community, what we're offering you every month, newsletters. In our newsletter, you're going to learn about holistic health, real estate, 
and you're going to get some stock information that you can use in real time. Also, in the membership, you're going to get a lot of resourceful research data that is going to empower you to make more informed decisions because we'll just add value to your research so you can make your own decisions, come at your own conclusions. But you know, I can't tell you what to buy, but I can share with you the things that I'm interested in going into the week looking for. And that helps people a lot, if y'all know what I'm saying. That's part of our success ratio. But as I'm showing you how I do it from one week to the next, so I don't overwhelm you and show you a bunch of charts and graphs because it can be intimidating. So what I do, I pace myself and I mix things up. And yo, it's working. <laughs> it's working. How long does it take to complete class? I'm literally winging it right now. I should have been done. I'm going to do like three more classes. And I'm not stopping until I feel like I got people to a certain level. And then with the membership, you're going to get free classes still. So with the membership, I'm going to be giving you just random classes. Every month, you're going to get at least one class that's going to go super hard. I have to exhaust certain ideas for the class itself. But every month, $19.99 a month, that's our membership. People go, oh, yo, he's trying to, look, he's charging you for membership for a movement and all that. Because we teach you about how to ascertain and solidify your political legal disposition. When you join us, you become part of a body politic, which we explain. Because in order to be a race, you have to establish your previous condition of servitude. Then you leverage those facts and scenarios so you can establish your political legal disposition. We have those classes, how to properly organize. We have those classes. Everybody that's in New Covenant needs to get insurance. So we go out there and we do a protest and we get hurt. We get paid three, five thousand dollars a day each, for each day we admitted into the hospital. If we die, our family gets a million dollars. If they knew a hundred people got killed in a riot, then they know they have to pay out a hundred million dollars. We wouldn't be getting killed like that. You know, you gotta make you gotta play chess with these guys. They say, damn, well, you're gonna have to cut a check. You're gonna make you're gonna make our children millionaires if you take me out for being a revolutionary. These are strategies that I teach in the community. Crocheting, sewing. These classes is what you're going to get every month. Cooking. How to mix herbs properly. That's what you get during the month. I got different administrators. I have different people that's going to be teaching. I'm going to vet the information, make sure it's consistent with what we teach. You know, I come from Dr. Sebi. I'm going to make sure it's consistent with our concepts. And I'm hiring people, private contracting, to take our members out the community that, that have talents, Oh, you do security? Oh, you do weightlifting? Oh, okay. What do you do? You do Reiki? Oh, you do yoga? I'm going to pay you $500 for the month. I just need you to teach at least twice or three times in the month for one hour. Come on, that's more than $100 for the hour. And I may, it's a start until we do more we grow as a community. But it's nothing wrong if everyone's paying $19.99 a month. I can allocate some of those monies back and start hiring people, and then I can keep them full-time when we got enough membership. When we go out, we need to be in uniform. We need uniforms. I need to pay administrators that's keeping the site going and making sure that they can problem solve if your link is not working, if your PDF isn't there. I got people on staff now. I really, I really changed my situation up because the problem is people don't allow you to grow when you're a black business. They just want to attack you when things go wrong or you have shortcomings. And they don't realize that a lot of us ain't skilled at the things we're doing. The people that are skilled, they don't got the motivation to be in a revolutionary movement. The people that are in the revolutionary movement may not have the technical skills and understanding. So that's the conundrum we find ourselves in. So what I do, <clears throat> I fix that. I made my money with my celebrity friends and everything like that. And I use that money that I saved and I hired my own to jumpstart me into what we're doing, into what we do right here makes us enough money. Because I believe in this. I believe in what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing and I know I'm supposed to be doing this. Y'all get confused because you see me driving nice cars and with women with form-fitting clothes. Part of me, I like seeing women in tight clothes and I like fat asses and big breasts and all of that. That's me. That's just what I like. Well, I like real petite women, but still plump where they need to be at. At least they, they waist or childbearing hips. All of that is attractive to me. But anyway, that's another conversation. Or real nappy hair. I'm with all of that, you know? But anyway, before I, I start getting excited, <laughs> yo, it's like... This is a movement. It's a movement. You feel what I'm saying? It's a movement. You know? And so, yeah, when I make my bread and I do what I do, you know, the people got to assume, oh, that's my money he's driving that nice car with. That car is a $400,000 car. Excuse me. There ain't enough money to be taken in the world for me to have two of them. For me to have two of them. 
Come on now. <laughs> yeah, Linda is doing her thing with the juicing. And I hired her to be the official juicer. She's my personal assistant, but I see she like juicing and shit. So I had to give her that. I got two personal assistants. Word. <laughs> you crazy, but I love childbearing hips. That's why right. I put my hands around women's waist, knowing that nature said that they're supposed to be producing children. Nobody got hips like our women, who they call Spanish and black and everything like that. It's, it's attractive to see that nature cosign their right to produce children, that the sun cosigned their right to exist on the planet. That's attractive to me. Word. <laughs> it's attractive to me. But, you know, if it, if it offends people, pardon me. That's my world. When I'm on my time, I was going to say I'm demon time, right? That's what, that's what these young brothers be saying. They be on demon time. <laughs> but, you know, when I'm on my time, yo, it is what it is when I'm on my time. Let me, let me do what I do. I like my little fancy cars. And, I, and my friends like, like Mayweather, he got his club. It's provocative. But I support him and he my friend. So, you know, and he support me and what I do. He never think twice. In fact, I was talking to him last night. And he gave me a, quite a few, I wouldn't even say business propositions, but a lot of insight on where he would like to support me in terms of business. And he really looked out for me. He, he really put something on the table I couldn't even turn down. I'm like, okay, I got you. And it's gonna mean, it's gonna be tremendous for our community. And let's also consider the fact that our good brother Floyd Mayweather is paying for the funeral arrangements and everything for the brother George that had passed away due to police brutality, the brother that was murdered. You know, so Floyd is not gonna, Mayweather, is not gonna go out here. He, he may not do like how I do and go super hard, but he do what he can because of his reasons that keeps him efficient at empowering our people. And if people can't understand it, that's all right. But then work as hard as he worked to be in a position he's in and then do it the way you can see. But to tell another man how to do it, that's wild, because truly, we don't need nobody to, that, that's wealthy to do anything for us, because there's enough of us together. If 10,000 of us paid $19.99 a month for 10 months, that's $5 a week. That's $2 million every 10 months. That's why I want to take our community, too. It's no secret. I want to get us to a, a level where we got bankrolls, so then we could just open up our own holistic venue so we ain't got to use. <clears throat> so we ain't got to use the hospitals. I want to have a... a child birthing center where we have midwives and, and doulas available that we could deploy into people's households but they could be on standby if there's a medical emergency these are things that we need in our community but we can't keep talking about what we need and don't do the things that's necessary so i figure if i give you a community and in exchange i'm giving you products that you can make money off of my books teach you how to make money my books correspond with the classes that teach you how to make money my classes tell you after you make this money, you can invest in all these different things. I show you how to invest in companies before they have an IPO, initial public offering. This week, I showed you uh, Warner Music Group. I told you about it before they officially got on the stock market. By the time you seen them on the stock market, some of the broker platforms didn't even make it available for you to be able to purchase them. You only could see them. I said, go to Fidelity. You can purchase it right there and it made money. <clears throat> they said their initial public offering was supposed to be $25. They came out the gate as $27. And they went up to $32 today. And I, I told you I got you in there because they wanted the three major record labels. And guess what? When this thing opens up, music business is going to be back and popping. And them being a newly found, uh, uh, them just going public, that does a lot. If you catch them nice and early, it's a quick flip. So I told you before it even happened. I'm like, yo, they're about to go public in like another five, 10 minutes. Who's doing that? And anybody that put it into WMG, they won. Anybody that put their money into WMG, won. And I knew it. I knew it. I said, yo, they're gonna, it's gonna go up. They just started, it's gonna go up. So 27 to $32 is $5,000 every share. <clears throat> if you bought 1,000 shares, you made 5,000. If you only bought 100 shares, you made 500. Get your money, man. Get your money. I don't play games with this shit. Because, yo, if I was steering people in the wrong way, 
yo, people be like, yo, everyone's losing bread. People say they know how to do all that shit with stocks, but nobody's willing to put that shit on the line because then a lot of people will say, yo, we're losing money listening to this motherfucker. I'm really that dude. Because I show you my receipts. I go live. Yo, look at this. I went live before, and that's when Instagram was doing that fuck shit. When I'm like, yo, look at my money grow. But I got plenty more days to keep doing that. Look, you want to ask me why I'm not protesting? Because I'm on the front lines making my people money. Because you, you're going to forget. You're going to forget that people are unemployed. Stop trying to make everybody do shit a certain way. Everybody got their way that they do things. Everybody contribute the way that they contribute. Stop fucking me asking me that stupid shit. Because, like, you ain't, like, yo, people just protesting for the first time want to come talk to me. I got these classes. I got a commitment to people. I, I, I got a business that I'm running. I can't take off in the name of protesting. Yo, due to the fact that I got to go out there and protest, uh, we will not be having class this weekend. You don't know the effort and the energy I got to put into servicing all these people at a time for class to give them throughout the week Instagram visuals and connect with them personally and through administration through the Facebook group to also create the presentation to be prepared for Sunday and doing it Sunday to Sunday and to give them quality information and use real data, real analytics, crunch the numbers, show them the graphs and the charts for what took place this week and create lessons out of it so it's so real, so authentic, something they can connect with because they seen it during the week or they could go right back to it, not 10 years ago, not five years ago, but two days ago or a day before. That take time and I'm not gonna throw my business away every, because I gotta go out there let other people do what they're doing. It's disorganized. I don't trust it. But what I'm saying is these fly-by-night revolutionary, hashtag revolutionaries and protest people, yo, you can say what you say, but I want you to weigh what you've done against what I've done. I've been on CNN. I've been on CNN. I've been on C-SPAN. I've been on Fox. I've been on all those. Made out to be a, a black terrorist on behalf of my people. I've been out there with snipers on me while I'm on CNN and C-SPAN. I've been out there on the marches, okay? Amongst the police and the army tanks been out there telling people come out their damn house I'm out there with the bloods and the crips giving out vegan food from our own money thousands of dollars from our own money and it's all documented and it's all published and when you publish it people say you shouldn't do it because why are you doing it if you're gonna publish it see it's, you can't win you damn if you do damn if you don't so how dare motherfucker tell me when I say yo at the moment I got this class popping and I'm obligated to the people here because we got to fight more than one battle because our people are dealing with unemployment and it's targeting us specifically because these loans that came that went out, they bailed out the billion dollar companies and the hundred million dollar companies more than they made us the preference, the mom and pop shops. We didn't get none of that fucking bread like the major companies got. And then essential business, essential business workers, they're the ones that's laid off the most and that makes up most of the black populace. So while they got your head running over there for the riot, there's another battle that we gotta take place. So what you call in the front line, there's several front lines that we gotta get on. And since I'm blessed with the ability to be able to teach people how to make money in real time, I'm saving people's fucking lives. I am the goddamn stimulus check. I am the stimulus check. So let's keep that shit into proper perspective. You can't stop every fucking thing that you're doing. Then when we come back, we ain't got nothing left. You want me to participate in shit with people destroying their communities and then when they devalue the property, when they devalue their own property, that's a segue for gentrification. That is the formula. Those stores, those white businesses that they say they're tearing down, is insured. And they're going to get more than the amount of money they need to upgrade those stores. So we just put money in their pocket, kept their stores in our community, and we'll be on our way out because, because of the riots, the property is devalued. And once the property is devalued, uh, other income communities can come in that are more privileged, and they can raise the community to the standard of their upper middle class. The epitome of gentrification and then we get pushed out because we can't afford what they are able to do in the upliftment of the community it looks like they're doing something philanthropic on paper You're, you just don't understand the game when i talk to you about making sure we're insured before we go out there and we risk our lives so we don't handicap our family but also it make them think twice about killing people because they'll say so much people involved if everybody's getting five thousand dollars if they go into the hospital we get ten thousand people injured and admit all these uh scenarios <clears throat> We'll have to cash out half a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's five hundred thousand dollars. Well, if if we kill all these people, there's gonna be hundreds of millions of dollars. You you feel what I'm saying? Then they'd be thinking twice, like, yo, we gotta be more peaceful because we're making their children rich, and then now they can compete. And then if you're the offspring and the wife or the husband of 
a res revolutionary that has died and you received a million dollars because you're paying your hundred and twenty dollars a month or your hundred and fifty dollars a month then you're most likely going to use some of that money towards the efforts to support your people so things like this never happen again so you can't have a hundred people a thousand people ten thousand people receiving a million dollars that's been hurt realizing they need the revolution you see so I have my talents and my trades and I've been through different stages of reacting and I don't knock people for their emotion but I do knock them for their activity and it's constructive criticism I'm not calling you an idiot I'm not calling you dumb it's just constructive it's not destructive you're doing the destruction I'm not gonna be in large groups without enough leadership so leadership can reprimand the people that they're organizing with I don't go nowhere with a group of my brothers with the intention to leave as a party of 10 and we just wind up being a party of 18 without asking who's the other eight people with us. When I organize and you see us, you see me on the front line leading the people that we don't know. And my security is on the wings, keeping them enclosed. And we're not going to allow anyone to do anything other than what our intention is for. Or we're going to separate ourselves, distance ourselves from them. Because we're not going to have no one in our group within our circle. We lock everybody in with us. And we organize and we see someone out of control brother we're not doing that or brother separate yourself we're not just going to organize with any randoms just doesn't work like that so why you ain't out here it's, it's i don't know who's organizing i have no idea what all of that is about people's emotions is entirely too high and i'm taking a huge risk because i owe it up to my family that when i do anything like that i got to be calculative i owe it up to my students of which we have hundreds of students <clears throat> i owe it up to them I owe it up to them to make sure I'm on point with class, to give them the best product they've ever been given, especially of this kind. I want, I, I want to be able to be in the Forbes magazine, not that it's better than the Black magazine, but I want to be able to say, hey, you know, I want to be recognized for helping so many people during this coronavirus come out of poverty from my techniques. <clears throat> and that's part of the reason I'm asking you guys send me the video. I want to bring more light and attention to black people doing positive things because whenever you talk about money and black people are involved, people always want to tell you something negative. But when you got success stories like the one that I got where there's no complaints, when you got success stories like the ones I, yo, just go on my Instagram story right now or go to Brother Polite Investment Group. Go to BPI Group on, on Facebook where a lot of my students just go and they mingle and they build and they help each other out and they connect. Just go to the BPI Investment Group and you'll see ain't no because i can't control the group i can't i can't tell people in a group that has over a thousand people already that we just started i don't know what the numbers is but i know last i was told it was over a thousand i can't i can't infiltrate that group and stop people from saying something bad about the class i mean we could catch up with someone but i mean there's so much people involved in the group you you'll get the sentiment that yo, I'm working, I'm sharing shit galore. I'm literally working throughout the day. Those posts ain't just happening by themselves. I'm authorizing everything, moving in and out. Let me look at that, let me see that. Yo, let me do this. I'm not even able to trade. I'm not even making the money that I normally make by myself. And everybody that's in my class knows if I'm showing them how to make that bread. And when I do trade, they see I trade five, ten thousand dollars at a time. Because if something goes up 10 cents, I make a thousand dollars. So I've been limiting myself to a 10,000, throw it out there, make 10 or 20 cents. If I make 10 or 20 cents, I make one or $2,000. If I do this for the week, I'm finishing the week with five or $10,000. I'm taking that same $10,000, I'm doing it again the next week, make the same five or 10,000. I'm doing it the next week, make the same five or 10,000. Do it for the last week of the month, make another five to 10,000. And then guess what? I made 20, <clears throat> right? Or $40,000. just off of 10, 20 cent intervals. There's enough 10, 20 cent intervals because I'm gonna take a volatile economy and I'm gonna find volatile stocks. When you add the two together, that volatility creates that implied volatility, okay? And that implied volatility means that there's enough space, there's a large crevice of space where you can be able to obtain 10 and 20 cents at a time. But y'all know the stocks I give y'all be making you more than 10, 20 cents. I'm just talking the big game. Eventually what you wanna do you want to get to the point where you, you make so much money that you could throw 10 grand there and 10 cents make you a G. And then you do that X amount of times a day and do it every day of the week. And then now what can stop you 
five cents makes you five hundred dollars when you're throwing ten thousand out there five cents all you got to do is master finding five cent stocks it's not that hard sell the second that bitch goes two cents backwards use the bpi uh the bpb 10 system and there's no isolated event so we think in groups of 10 and so long as I can win at least seven out of 10 times, if I devise a strategy where I'm always winning seven or more times out of 10, then I don't mind. And then devise a strategy how much you're willing to lose in order to go forward. But we don't use the word loss, we use the word lesson because loss has a negative connotation. We don't take no losses when we do what we do because we found the BPB 10 system. If I'm doing something that I'm gonna lose more than five times out of 10, I sh that, then that's not a good thing. I come up with strategies, the strategies that I teach, in my world, the strategies that I teach, I'm, I'm like 10 for 10 every most of all the time. I might go nine or eight. It just don't happen often. If it did, y'all would see, y'all would see the gaps. So I create a system based on confluence, looking at the, the long and the short wicks of the candlesticks, using the EMA, the exponential moving average. I use a combination of different things. Then to corroborate what I'm what I realize. I use current events, common sense, and I integrate all those things together. And that ensures me. And I also come to the party late. That's what I use confluence for. I come to the party late when those things get ready to intersect. Boom. Those indicators get ready to intersect. I use confluence and I'll, I'll miss the first spike. I'll miss that first 20, 30 cents. But I know. It's enough room in there for me to snatch my little five or 10, 15 or 20 cents. And that's all I want. And then, you know, sometimes I'm gonna play because shit, if, if five cents makes me 500 or 10 cents makes me a thousand, I imagine when I make a dollar off of that, when I throw 10,000 in there. Well, of course I make $10,000. <clears> and I give y'all enough. Y'all seen enough things that I teach you about that y'all made five, six, seven, eight dollars from. So what the hell would I have to take from anybody? For real. What would I have to take from anyone? <clears throat> if you in my class, you know, I can only imagine what Polite is doing because I got enough fucking sense in my head. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't snitch on people. Shit happens. And then some people, I just feel they agents and it's the way I, I come into knowing them. And then without even giving me a complaint or telling me what's wrong, I had to find out there's an issue on YouTube and they with this one and they with that one and I'm connecting with this attorney and yo, we gonna take you down. This young brother's over here talking about, yo, we gotta get the feds. And I'm looking like, yo, what the fuck? I don't even know this person. I don't even, so I'm like, okay, I got it. But it's all good because what I'm not gonna do, I ain't gonna be on the defensive. I just eat those and say, yo, my fault. I gotta tighten up. I can't put myself in the space for that. But what I'm saying is those same people care about you so much. <clears throat> Where's the celebration of the hundreds of people Every damn day, I'm posting. Yo, thanks, P. I just made 300. Thanks, P. I just made 500. Yo, I just made 6,000. Yo, I just made 5,000. Y'all see right here in these comments, people saying that. Right in these comments, y'all see this. And I'm asking you, I'm begging you, read it if there's any doubt. Read the damn comments. Come on. You feel me? It's just annoying because when you fighting for your people and you got your own people fighting against you, they want to believe something ain't right. But when they find out something is right, they don't come to you and inquire, yo, um, so let me just buy the class since it's right. No, when it's wrong, yo, what's going on? Yo, can you explain to me why people are saying this, that, and the third? Why you don't fucking ask? Can you explain to me why people are saying they making all this money so I could direct you to the class? Why they don't do that? Because you're afraid of success. You you would be more happy. You would be more happy. Yeah, I know. I see y'all like, yo. It's Miami. It's Miami, family. It's Miami. We not. We not on that time. That's why I like Miami. Enjoy ourselves. <clears throat> it's Miami right here. It's a beautiful, cloudy day. <laughs> Go to brotherpolite.com. It's right there, and in in it's pinned to the top. It's right there. The pool's closing down. Beach is supposed to be open. They shut it down because all the riot energy. The beach is literally right here. Corny ass shit, man. Need that sand.
yeah, just go to brotherpolite.com. Look for Gold in the Crisis. Click Gold in the Crisis. Boom. The next thing you do is join New Covenant. And we got mad. We got a plethora of programs available to the people on a month-to-month -month basis. Health, economics, politics, learning how to organize, all of that stuff. $19.99 a month. We're giving you something in exchange, not just asking you, yo, give us $20 and we got this dream to put this together. Nah. I always give people a service in exchange. We have books available, classes available, and you're going to be entitled to that every month for the rest of your life. Those classes. The courses are super intense, but if you take a course, then you take those random classes of real estate and everything, I'm not going to teach you on the courses. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm not going to teach you on them extra classes, those miscellaneous joints that come from the membership. I'm going in super hard, and you'll be able to collect those and accumulate those. And if you took the course, the combination of taking the course and reading the material that we have, and you put that together, it's going to be like, yo, you'll be saying to yourself, oh my goodness. It's a fact. Pennies off a millionaire, stocks and blondes, uh, buy the house, sign the contract. Protect the asset. <laughs> Buy the house, sign the contract, protect the asset. Inequity. Iniquity or inequity. Can you outthink your oppressor, finance a fiance, rich mom, poor mom, all of that. Sovereign Bible, of course, it says head of the crown, sovereign Bible. Buy a land in Alaska. I have no idea what's going on. <clears throat> Thank you. Renee Pudge said books are fire. Thank you so much. And that's another thing. I write all these books. They say I plagiarize. It's so crazy. The people that's slandering me and gossiping me, I know they're struggling because their money is in the gossip so they can get advertisements on their YouTube videos. What do these people do outside of that? What talent do they bring to the table? What can they share with the world? What would you actually buy from them if they're not gossiping? You don't even buy nothing from them for the gossip, but you technically are because when you entertain it, they make some coins. And they know that I'm a name, that if you mention my name, boom, I got this breaking news on gossiping. But why won't they say, yo, Pride, you know what? I got to keep it 100. If I'm doing these videos about you because of negativity that people say, why you don't ask, why you don't say, well, damn, there's mad receipts out there for all the stuff that Polite is actually doing. I don't tell y'all, yo, those receipts is doctor up and Photoshop and manufacture. I don't do all that. I just say, yo, it is what it is. Because guess what? When I teach, if you can't tell that I actually know what I'm talking about, if you can't research what I'm talking about, I say, yo, polite knows that stuff like the back. Yo, I'm good at that. I got a better memory than all them folks. I'm driven more than all of them. But if I write my books, it's plagiarized because I did over 90. They can never say, well, we keep saying that we gods and we goddesses and we supreme beings and we got all this melanin and if your penal gland is in calcified. We say all of this, but then one of us comes amongst us and actually does speak seven languages and created one of the languages. When one of us actually writ has written over 90 plus books and you can buy my books. You can look and check and see if it's plagiarized from something. It's not. You can type in keywords and all that. Negroes were saying my books been plagiarized for years. Not one of them produced any form of plagiarism. I will not get caught out there for no stupid shit like that. And then after they say it, they don't have to prove it. I remember Sarah Sutton said he said my books were plagiarized when I had to do my debate with him. Fucking jealous bastard. And guess what? After he said it was plagiarized, he showed up to the debate and act like he, he said, yeah, we're going to check into those books from kindergarten or, you know, First grade to how old you is? You plagiarize those books. That's how low he think of black people. Showed up to the debate. It wasn't even a, a subject matter. Couldn't just say, yo, God, that's just what you good at. I'm good at what I'm good at. You good at what you good at. <clears throat> Feel me? Couldn't do it. My own brothers chastised me. I deal with Hollywood. You know, I remember Ali Muhammad said that I, I murdered my baby to get Hollywood fame. Because my wife didn't want me to publish pictures of my child because people started attacking my, my wives and attacking my children. So I honored that. She said, I want this child not to be in the limelight. I don't want this child to be acknowledged as Brother Polite's child because people send negative energy our way. So let's see how it works with this child. So the brother said that I murdered my child for Hollywood success. I still got the Facebook post. Never apologized for it either. When, I, when, when after that, I published a picture and a video of my child, obviously older than the last time people seen her. 
my daughter in the suit tech. Never got an apology, but that's all right. And I still show him respect uh, if he talks and somebody puts me on the same platform as him for whatever reason. But this is why I separate myself because my brothers can't just show me my love. So I couldn't just make bread in Hollywood. I had to steal or I had to scam. I couldn't just make a come up in Hollywood. Oh no, those are Photoshop images. He's a groupie, he doesn't really know these guys. How the hell am I meeting all these people being a groupie? Like, yo, at some point you gotta, I'm in, I'm in Puffy's crib. How is this working? They used to say, yo, you don't know Floyd. Oh, that's Photoshop. And I'm like, okay. Yo, polite, why you don't say nothing to it? Cause that's just, that shit sounds stupid. If I'm supposed to go out my way and start proving that I really know people that I know, that's not what my mission is in life. I'm not going to detour from what I got to do from reading, writing, and studying to take time out and do that. Oh, you don't really know Serena? Oh, you, you don't know Kobe? And I'm saying, yo, I'm sitting right next to son at the games. I'm hanging out with him after the games. Okay, I'm outside the, the basketball court, the arena, and everything with him. Different clothes, different outfits. <clears throat> oh, you're a groupie. So several times over, I'm being a groupie, being around the brother. You see, it's like, instead of saying, yo, we could use Polite as a resource, he found a way to bridge the gap with these different people. You feel me? Come on. I'm a groupie. I'm hanging out with Tiana Taylor. I'm t no, Tiana Taylor reached out to me and was like, yo, if my friend knew that I saw you right now, she would be so excited. That's what Tiana Taylor said to me. And I'm saying, oh, wow, word. Just a piece polite. But when the picture goes up, I'm a groupie. Our people are so filled with hate. That's why I took a year and a half off. It's too much to deal with. Because everything I do, if I write 90 plus books, my books is plagiarized. If I achieve a great deal of success in Hollywood, I must be doing something incongruable. Or I must have murdered my daughter. You have no idea how people just tear you down. If I, if I got to teach you about money, no, he steals it. He's a scammer, so don't, don't deal with it. Despite the fact what I'm teaching is true. Despite the fact that what I'm showing you is true and people are benefiting from it and they're posting confirmations. Despite the fact. We just gonna ignore all of that and we're gonna take the gossip and the, the rumors, the backbiting and the slander from people who obviously just hate me for whatever goddamn reason. But I literally, no amount of how much negativity you can see on the internet can compare to just this class alone. Just this class alone. No amount of what you can see that's negative about me can I be overshadowed. And what people don't understand, when you do videos that get 20 million views and 30 million views, what people don't understand is, yo, you're going to have 100,000 haters or 200,000 haters or a quarter million haters or half a million haters or even a million haters over time because I, I reach millions. I did a video about the protests four days ago. That video is at around 330,000 views or something like that. I did a quarter million in two days. I did another video two days ago. That's over 100,000 right now. I'm talking to you guys now. I, I, it done went to 1.1 thousand while I'm talking to you. It's going to get like 20, 30,000 shares. It's a fact. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, so... I did this post to just ask you guys, uh, out of the love and excitement, not to prove nothing to a naysayer. That's not what I'm doing it for. It's for our own empowerment. We represent a movement with new covenant SARS. Okay, not severe acute respiratory syndrome, but self-administering reparations scientifically. We're the SARS that's going to empower our people. We're the SARS that's a breath of fresh air, not take advantage of the lack of breath you have because you have asthma or you have bronchitis or you have shortness of breath or some other respiratory illness. No, our SARS is going to empower you. So, yeah, I hear you saying don't pay attention to the negative. I hear you. But the same people you look into empower, sometimes you got to talk about it and say, yo, it's, it's crazy. Like, bro, why are you religiously on me? Like, why you, come on, bro. I don't fuck with you. You to the point because you can't get me to go crazy and talk reckless that you got to disrespect my wives, disrespect my children, say say things sexually connected with my children. I'm like, yo, why, what's up with your fantasies? Like, chill. Like, chill. Like, damn, bro. Like, if it is what it is and you a better person than me, then everybody's going to follow you. That's it. That's it. Because I don't got nothing negative to say to these people. Because I personally don't feel we're we on the same page. Show me. 
what you do to contribute to people. And I'll show you what I do to contribute to people. I could just take today's proofs, and I do this every week, and every week I, I produce proofs. I could just take today's proofs alone, and I would wipe out all these leaders in our community if it comes to tangible evidence about things that impact us immediately. More people will confirm, um, I know you give us motivational speech, but Polite does that too. I know you may talk about health, but Polite does it too. But yo, we making money over here, so I, I'm telling you most people are just going to be like, yo, listen, uh, a group of people making money during a time where unemployment is on an all-time high and people, uh, he's removing debt, uh, we're going to have to take P. Because I can show you. And that's what I plan to do. I want to be able to post that this week, people. So for those of you that I've empowered and impacted, be very clear, too. You made five thousand dollars. Say it. You made six thousand. Say it. Your pops made ten grand. Say it. Say it. God damn it. If I if I remove thirty thousand dollars of your debt, if I remove fifty thousand dollars of your debt, if I remove eighty thousand dollars of your debt, say it. I want to put up a nice, beautiful video, and just show <laughs> the amount of debt injury I have removed. The the money I have removed called debt, and the value I have added right after me. I want to show. Yo, you paid $99 for my class and you made $6,000. You paid $99 for my class, you made $150. Yo, you're slowly moving, but you made $80 so far. You made $60 and you're in route because you're getting it. Because at whatever level, that's why I said I'm going to take some small money this week and I'm going to show you what I do. And then the same day I opened up the Weebull account, the account is right there. It lets you know the time when you open it up and when you did your investment and everything. And I showed all of that. And I post it on the Facebook group. You can just go to Brother Polite Investment Group. Go to BPI Group. BPI Group. Type in Brother Polite Investment Group. You can go right over there on the Facebook group. And you can just go down the damn line. And it tells a story. You can just look at all these different posts. You can read people's comments. And you're going to see. The proof is in the pudding. And then I'm going to ask you. Go to another leader's page. And see how many comments there are. About actual tangible results. That actually empower people to pay their bills or to quit their job or create a job out of what I'm teaching and if you think this is something my real estate game is mean the money's slower but god damn it when you get paid you're making five figures or more so I show you how to make money with the stock market and then you're going to leverage your earnings from that and you're going to put something in remember seed invest those of you that's in my class from the first class like i said i'm not just going to teach you about the stock market i'm going to show you your options so you just don't got money sitting around there and this is your only bread and butter we got to have nine different streams of income so during the class it's plenty of times on a certain on a given class yo let me show you something about tax lien tax deeds real quick because i know i'm supposed to teach you stocks and i still got a crypto class that will blow your freaking mind i just got to get through a little more research with how, how to conduct research. I got another class, maybe two of that. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to, how to deal with the stocks, with the crypto, and how to get busy and how to pick it and, and your approach towards, yo, listen, I, yo, I do this, I benefit by myself from it. I make enough money that if I only had an opportunity to have 10,000, that I'd be set for life. And those of you that's in my class understand, because those of you that's making money, you guys know, if you had $10,000, what you would have made from the money you made already. Correct? If you're in my class, you know what's common sense because you know what's going on. If you're, in, if you're in gold in the crisis class, you know goddamn well, yo, if you, just your $100 is going to take you somewhere. You know goddamn well, just $1,000, what that could do. You guys invested in Hertz when I talked about it. Got it for 80 cents despite the fact that they went bankrupt. I said, yo, they bankrupt. That stock normally costs $20. That shit is 80 cents. In fact, I'm like, yo, it's 40 cents. Get up in there. You guys that bought that from that last class or the second to last class, today is a dollar and 40 some cents. Wanted a music group? I said, yo, they're about to actually launch their uh, initial public offering. They're about to actually go public in a few minutes. Grab them the second they show up. Second they showed up, I posted it. Yo, they're here. I caught them the second they stepped on the streets of Wall Street. Caught them. And anyone that got in, got them at 27, maybe 28. They went to $32 a day. So you made, you made four or five dollars or more off your shares with the change that's left over. CIDM, I told y'all about that two weeks ago. If you was patient and you held out. 
today CDIM made you. Yo, when I when I told you guys about CDIM, that shit was at 80 something cents. 60 something cents. About two weeks ago. Check the charts. And I got the videos and this shit is published. And today it went to four dollars and change. Do you know what your money looks like if you buy something that's only 60 cents? And you buy a bunch of shares for 60 cents and it multiplies by over more than four dollars on every share and you only came 60 cents to four dollars and 60 cents yo that's crazy that's nuts what is the profit on that come on people i can go on and on american airlines there's a video where i say you should be ashamed of yourself if you come out of this coronavirus poor however they worded it when they reposted it it's going viral i'll be bumping into it i did it on facebook and the information i taught there about royal caribbean over 60 dollars it was 20 something dollars when i was teaching when i did that video it was 20 something dollars that's just past 60 dollars right now that video i did like two three weeks ago <clears throat> three weeks tops at that time, American Airlines would later drop to even $8 and change because it's talks of them going bankrupt. I understand if you're worried, if you want to hold on in the long, long term and sit on your hands. But that's not what I'm talking to you guys about. I'm talking to you, make your money now. When you make your profits, you allocate some of your profits to something you're going to sit your hands on. And when you do, you're going to put it into a company that pays you for investing in them so you can have dividends. And if you do that to several companies, allocate your dividends to one company so it can eventually accumulate to a share and get paid four times a year when they do the dividend payouts and I taught you about the X dates and the acknowledgement I taught you about those things and then the DRIP the dividend reinvestment program taught you how to boss up and play the game so you can create your own pension your own annuity and invest in the blue stock something that no matter what kind of recessions we're in I show you the calendar for the recession so you can see if this stock ever if this company ever said we're not going to make a payout for dividends because we're in a recession and if they got a history of constantly paying then boom get in there and if you see a billionaire bought it and never sold it for years throughout the course of several recessions that's more the reason to say let me do that because we can't trust their pensions because we're going into a silver tsunami and that means that we're going to have more 65 year olds and over than 18 year olds and under and that means when these people die, the housing market collapses, then we have to spend more money on Social Security and, and health care and all that that we don't have. And it's going to make sure that people in our generation and younger will not have a pension. It's called the silver tsunami because the 18 year olds and under make up too, too little of the populace. And the, you can't have the 65 year olds make up most of the populace because all the things you got to cater to them in their old age only for them to die is going to leave too many houses vacant and then the 18 year olds ain't really going to get into a house speculatively to about 17 years when they're 35 because that's around the time when people start buying their first house so from six if you add 17 to 65 <laughs> right or if you add if you in that space them 65 year olds are about to die in their lifetime expectancy of 72 years old so that's seven years past that you still got a whole decade in between with the 18 year olds to eventually become people that own homes if no one's owning homes from the other half of the damn population damn near and the the majority of the population is dying then the housing market collapse you ain't gonna have no pension and this is set this we're slated for this reality around 2030 10 years from now so, I mean, we may see a number of depopulation tactics that target older people <laughs> and people that are too young so we can keep a certain age group to keep the economy fluctuating or sustain the volatility of the economy. These are things you wouldn't understand unless you're dealing with certain genres of information. So when we say $5 a week and you say you a guy and you a goddess, you got all this melanin that I, <clears throat> yo, listen, <clears throat> I ain't here to debate you about that. Go to one of the free communities and, and you're going to get just that. You get back a lot of talk and talk to the white man. It's time for us to organize and it's time for black America to get together. <clears throat> Niggas going to have the same damn conversation. Let us make our bread. I'm creating a community of people that's all making bread. So when we got to turn around, I'll be like, yo, I need everybody to put up $5,000. We're going to be good. They said, yo, Polite didn't help me make a million. Polite didn't help me make 100 bands. 
I don't mind. Yo, for my community, yo, whole 10. My thing is to make you an individual success so you don't never got to think twice about funding your community. That's my thing. <clears throat> Real talk. So when someone talks about me, just tell them, produce the results. Because that's, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. I'm asking everybody, you know, today I, can, I spent my whole day reposting testimonials. It was church. It's like I laid the hands on people. It was church. I, yo, my whole day, my trading day was a wrap. I just stopped. Love you too, Nika Reed. Love you too. So please, give me your first name, last name if you choose, city and state, and the amount of money you made. And if you in class or if you out there lurking and you just making bread, if I fixed your credit, whatever, just give me 30 seconds. I want to do several video collages because it's that much of y'all. So I'm asking y'all to contribute to the movement. If you know that I've been supporting, if you know I've empowered you, if you know you've made your $200, your $3,000, your $5,000, let the people know. Do me a favor. Send me the video through this inbox on Facebook or send it to me through Instagram. Send me the video. It could go a little over 30 seconds. But just give, make sure you give me your, your, your name, city and state. And if you're in the class and how much money you made, or how much money you've been making, you can estimate it. You can say it exactly. You can say what happened this week. You can say, yo, you know, I've never made this money like this before. This is crazy. Just, you know, whatever you choose to say. It could be from your heart, but get specific. Let them know your city, state, your name, and the money that you made. You know, and then also send me your IG or your Facebook name or whatever it is that you got going on. So there's a point of reference. Send me that. You know, because I just want people to wait. I want people to wait. When they talk about me, I want them to show the number of people that's going to say what you actually do for them. I know I help pay people's bills. I want to see what's stronger than that. I hope, I hope you put food in your child's mouth. I want to see what's better than that. I want to see what's better than that. I hope you pay your rent when you laid off. I want to see what's better than that. You paid for my class and my class paid you right back several times over. I want to see what's better than that. What have they taken from you that they've given back to you simultaneously? I want to see what's better than that. And again, whenever I do something, cats attempt to follow it, and then they have to disappear because they're not good at it. Imam Bashir was slandering me. Then suddenly he's teaching people about tax deeds. That went to hell. And most of you don't even know, son. You know, Muslim cat. But this is what people do. Watch people all of a sudden want to jump on a stock train, study what I teach, but you, you can't microwave success. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Someone in boxes not to invest in you, and I didn't listen. You really did help. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, people show me, yo, don't trust it. <laughs> people be making money, yo, don't trust that, though. <laughs> Word. Yo, class gonna be crazy, man. This Sunday, it's gonna be wild. Word. Come on, it, it's like it's too good to be true. Like, yo, a black man dealing with something pertaining to money. They did it to Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey attempted to kill himself twice. He attempted to commit suicide because the government made him out to be a fraud. Even though they sabotaged his business. They made it look like he was misappropriating the funds for his newspaper. Misappropriating his funds for Black Star Line. With, with Elijah Muhammad They was purposely freezing his fish a certain way And then it would fall apart So his fish business and the import and export was sabotaged And people turned on him And made it like yo he's just trying to rip the people off They do that Peace Peace God Sasa Sasa how you doing Say sa Sasa Your name sounds so familiar It's familiar to you Yeah hold tight my brother Your name sounds familiar Dr. Savy son Say sa Peace yeah. God Peace, peace. <laughs> How you doing my brother I'm good how you I'm doing good brother That's what's up That's Yeah what's I knew up. it sound familiar man yeah. How you doing I'm good I'm good I spoke to you Peace like, sister Probably like right after your transition I went out to Atlanta so I don't want yeah. to interrupt Oh let me get you a number or something yeah, my brother Yeah definitely Yeah the son of Dr. Savy man <laughs> Damn, I ain't got no pen. You know what? Can you text me? I don't have my phone on me. I left it upstairs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I left it upstairs. I, okay, let me see. I got my laptop on me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Finish, okay. Finish what you're doing. Thank I'm you, right brother. Here. Let me catch that brother right there. Peace. Legend's son right there. Look different, though. 
did you do something different? All right, I'm not like something's different. <laughs> yeah, word. But yeah, that's good stuff, man. It's good energy. But yeah, I just want you guys <clears throat> powerful energy. You see how that work? I want you guys to let's see him. Oh, uh, he, he going over there now with his whiz, I believe. <clears throat> thank you, Stephanie. Monica Kali, I thank you for helping so many of us. I made money. That's what I'm talking about, Stephanie. Please send me a video. 30 seconds. Send it right here. My name is Stephanie. I'm from this city and state. I joined this class. I made my money back. I made this much money. I'm cooking now. I'm I'm so I'm looking forward to the rest. Boom. That's it. It can just be short. You want to throw a little extra sauce on it. I ain't gonna knock that sauce. We all like to put sauce on our food. We chewing, we eating out here. Put some sauce on that food you just ate. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. Love you too, Renee. Thank you so much. You can't microwave success. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> I'm too smart to be broke and it costs way too much to be poor. You cannot microwave success. And some people are so poor, all they have is money. Come on, let's talk that talk. We gotta talk to these people. We gotta take them to church and get these testimonies. Take them to church. I'm just excited that such a thing even exists. Because my goal is to have thousands of people so I can just show you the, the millions of dollars that I've added into the community and the millions of dollars in debt that I've removed. That's my goal. That's my goal. Word. I've written books to contribute to this. Give you a Facebook group so you can deal with it during the week. I post on Instagram to give you hints like, hey, I just bought this just now. Anything. I, sh I show you other people's testimonies and, and confirmations of receipts for motivation. And then I still teach the class on Sunday. It's a full damn time job. And then I got to make sure when you get your classes that the link works and that the automated response is there. And I still want to clean up some things so it's just clear. I don't want it ambiguous. Yo, you don't know what it is when you're on a time schedule. And then I got to go out and I got to link up with Floyd and we bike riding and, you know, he's doing his thing. He's training. He got stuff coming up. Different things in the works. And I'm up with him in the room. Like, yo, we out there. We building till I left the penthouse at like 6.30 a.m. this morning. <laughs> the market opens at 9.30. And so if you consider that I left, I left the spot at 6.30 a.m. with Mayweather. Went back to my room. You know, <laughs> we both got cribs out here. But, you know, we, <laughs> we still going to the hotel and shit. We wild. <laughs> Because it's such a large group of us and we got different things going on. But by the time I get back to my room, it's a little after 6.30 a.m. Then I slept for like an hour and a half probably. My wife, I'm in that, called me. I'm like, oh, yo. I'm thinking, the, I checked the market, numbers is moving. I'm like, oh, shit, the market's moving. Yo, how come it's not, temp it's, how come it's not a certain... The, the opening They only showing me The last day's opening The last She was like Yo what are you talking about She done told me three times I was so disorientated I just realized Oh shit This was pre-market It ain't open officially Those numbers moving Had me like Oh shit Cause I had to sell something Real quick I'm, I'm, I was watching something Cause I had see my money And see I DM And I left it overnight Baking I left some money I left 500 shares Over there baking So when the market opened up I definitely Was well over A thousand dollars it was cooking, but I, I knew I got to get out of there at some point or the other. And I rolled the dice on leaving it there overnight because I felt like there was still some more there. I, I just, I'm going to leave it in the incubator. And it definitely worked out. So <sighs> I thought I fell asleep and, and, you know, boom. I got a limit loss on it, but I, I ain't put a limit to sell if it hits this amount. So I wanted to catch that highest amount, and I did. I caught it in $11 and got it out of there, and it never went higher than that. <clears throat> it might have went to 12 But the reality is, when it got that high and it went low, it never really came back. I hope I got the right numbers in my head. I was dealing with so many different stocks. Yeah, because I, I bought it at $6.80. <clears throat> I only made $400 on Hertz. Should I make a video on that? Yes. I don't give a damn if you only made $20. How you can say I only made $400? Are you kidding me? We got rich people problems. 
I only made $400? Come on, I don't care if you made $20, $16, $13. But I posted somebody who only made $11. You say, yo, this is a start. I'm not kicking nobody. That's 11 more dollars than the bank would have gave you. They would have gave you an overdraft. You invest in going to school and you wind up owing $100,000 or $80,000. So when you come to my school and you pay for my books, you good. <laughs> you gonna benefit when you buy my books. Come on now. And in my Stocks and Blondes book, I left two, three powerful pages in the beginning pages that people don't even understand what I'm doing. I just can't do a whole book on something like that. It's crazy what I put there. It's crazy. I had to masquerade the rest of the book just to put those two, three pages here. And I don't even talk about what's in my books. It's so crazy to not talk about what's in that book a certain way. Because the way you sign your signature on the the implication and the freedom. We talk about implication, we talk about freedom. Because your signature is your sign of nature. And we talk about personality, we talk about the structure of a company. Because a company is considered a person or a legal person or a fiction or a legal fiction. Now I also got that book, Real Estate or Legal Fiction, that cooperates the testimony of stocks and blondes. My shit is written in code. My book's written in code. People ain't even gonna understand what's going on. Because the way I teach my people, I teach them under the pretense that we all millionaires and higher. I don't teach you no sucker information. Oh, like you're gonna just be taking baby steps for the rest of your life. I don't got no time to be teaching the community of people how to maintain their struggle. There ain't no glory in us only making a hundred dollars somewhere. <clears throat> it's a start, but there ain't no damn glory in that. If if my I see the beauty and what I've learned, the more money I'm making, I'm gonna teach you to the level that I'm at, catch you where you at, bring you up over here. So that's why when people say, yo, you just using words people don't know, you're gonna elevate. If you're reading my books, if you study in my classes, if you're watching these live streams, or you connected on Facebook, you connected on Instagram, you watching my YouTube, if you're taking them courses, if you part of membership, you'll pick it up. So people that just wanna be fly by overnight success. They ain't gonna pick it up because they just want to get it right now and go. They want to microwave success. It don't work like that. It don't. I'm on some shit on every level. I'm on. I'm at every level, every angle of this. That's how I am. Yo, I'm gonna get them on Facebook and I'm gonna catch them around the block and I'm gonna get them on YouTube and yo, I'm gonna get them over there on Instagram and post this and I'm still gonna teach them class over there. And when I teach you class, I give you the PowerPoint. I give you the PDF version to the PowerPoint. I take notes for you so you can take different notes. So I, I take notes for you so you can take different notes. And then I give you video tutorials where I show you when I'm on the phone. Go to the app over here, click this, then go to the right over here, boom. Then you're gonna see this. Now go down, go down, go down, click this, boom. This is where it's at, and this is what you can use it for in the tutorial, very clear. Then I give you another tutorial. Despite the fact I got a video class presentation, then I got these small tutorial videos just to make sure when you're on your phone, you know exactly where to go so you're not left out there. Any other questions we could build in the group? Any other questions you, you might see the answer on the Instagram? Any other questions I assign to you two caseworkers when you join the community so you can connect with them if it's about your needs? And depending on what needs it is, what need it is, you could talk to one of my one of my two personal assistants and they are assigned to you as your caseworkers. And we will get more caseworkers. But right now we can keep this at this level because they're handling it and they're maintaining it. Wear it up. Word up. That's what we're doing. Word up. So, yeah, you could, you could join a membership. That's $19.99 a month. And you get a member ID card. Don't sleep on a member ID card. Because when we have our events and we know your present status, and then there'll be discounts when we let you know it's made available. So you can get products, services, discounted rate $100 off $80 off shit like that free shipping whatever it is real talk real talk you already know there we go with the bastards there we go we gonna get it in we gonna get it in You could take the class and you could do both. You could take the class, don't have to get the books. The books are just complimentary. I create a bunch of complimentary information because I want you to be as proficient as I am and better. And so when people ask like, yo, what should I do here? Or what, what, like you ask what apps should you get? Go in the class and take it down. Because I give you, the way I do the class, as I'm teaching you, I make it relevant to what it is I'm teaching you. Otherwise, you're going to sit there and you're going to be looking at a bunch of stuff you don't understand and you're going to be like, wow. You're going to get Robinhood, but then it's, now I have to go through the whole reason why you want to use Robinhood 
in some instances and not in all because their execution time is ridiculous but if you trade in a small amount then you get money so it's, it's different nuances to it why have you using webull because the educational platform they have an educational platform in there it's just amazing i know i caught you off guard with that instant replay this week like woo because i'm the type i go through everything in there i want I, you think i'm one of the developers when i'm done that's how I am, because I, I just want to know what people wasn't telling me so I could decide for myself amongst the different options what way I want to take. So that's what I do with y'all. Some stuff I don't use per se, but I see the benefit in it. You might add, you might see that as adding value to you because the way you see the world, that works for you. So that's why I got to do that. <coughs> Word. Go to brotherpolite.com. Brotherpolite.com. Word. Brotherpolite.com. Look for Gold in the Crisis. That's the $99 class. Membership is $19.99. You get all those things every single month, guaranteed. And like I said, what I'll be doing is hiring people who have talents that's part of the community. And when you submit your talent, that's why we ask you in the application. What are your talents or resources that you can add to the community? And you write it out. Everything else you fill out. So that way, or what's your level years of education? So that way we need help, we can hire you. We want you to contribute, we hire you. I don't be asking nobody to do nothing for me for free. I would like people to volunteer their time and build their community, but there's nothing wrong if you gotta be hired too. I, I take on a stance, I'd rather give you some bread. It may not be the, the most money you've ever made, but at least you can say, yo, I, I, made, I made $200 to teach for an hour, or I, I made $150 to teach for an hour. I got $500 to teach for a month, three times out of that month. One hour, so th three hours, I made $500. I commit myself one day out the week to teach for an hour. Because I can't do everything. I do a lot of things, right? But even if I wanted to teach a class on everything that I know, it would exhaust me. I would be exhausted. It would throw me off. So what I do, I just be like, man, you know what? Let me see if I can get people that's great in the community. We'll, we'll go through a vetting process. It doesn't contradict anything we do. Or if it does, we ask, yo, can, we, can you modify this so we can make sure it's in harmony and consistent with the things that we do in this community? And then once we do that, we get money. <clears throat> once we do that, we get money. I'm going I'm to take this brother's phone number real quick. You know, uh, what I can do, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Say stop. I got, I'ma just put it in my laptop. I got my, I got my laptop on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm building with you guys. All right, you ready to get me something to eat too? Look at this. Look at this Illuminati shit. <laughs> put my fingerprint on it, and it opens up. You know how uncomfortable I was when I realized I could open up my shit with my fingerprint? I wanted to return this bitch back. <laughs> I'm like, I must be getting old. Yeah, let me, uh... Look at that, my Active Trader Pro popping up right now. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this. I'm just, Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this pad to see if this opens up. Why is nothing opening up? Let me... Uh, Welcome to notes. Continue. System preferences. Damn, I gotta always set up something. Come on, man. It's a new computer, so I never even used a notepad, and I didn't know it was gonna be this deep. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> you know, you could do maybe a word document too. Yeah. So let me just. You gotta open up quick. I said okay. All right. Let me see something. First of all, let me take off this. Welcome to pages, that should work. Create a document. Thank goodness. Something that don't require my damn retina scanner and fingerprint. Goodness gracious. Out here in Florida? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, right now I'm just all over. Flopping with the family and stuff. But I got a crib out here, but I live in Beverly Hills though. I got you. You all over, I got you. <laughs> It just dawns me, like, let me do that. It's pretty, 
Hey man, right? Yeah, it's a piece of the family that was just interested in you. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> Word. All right. Thanks to the brother, man. Thank you for ke keeping everything moving. You feel me? Most I'm definitely gonna build with you, my brother. All right, peace. Peace. Brother Seisar, Dr. Sebi's son. It's good. Good to see the, the bloodline out here sane, doing the thing. Good to see that. screenshot the thing anyway just want to be careful just want to be careful boom I'm out here doing all sorts of stuff man that's how you can tell that we are suffering and this is why I always say they got clinics for who they got clinics for people suffering from drug and substance oh, that's, the wrong one. that's how you can tell that's how you can tell that we are suffering. And this is why I always say they got clinics for who? They got clinics for people suffering from drug and substance abuse. Women go to shelters when they get abused. People drink too much or suffer from alcoholism. They got AA Anonymous meetings, alcohol anonymous uh, meetings, right? But where is the shelter or where is the clinic for people that have been enslaved for 400 plus years. You got it for drug addicts. You got it for people suffering from alcoholism. You got it from people suffering from domestic violence and, and molestation. You got all sorts of forms for people like that to cope with their stress. But you don't got a facility for us to cope with us being enslaved for 400 plus years. But someone could go to Iraq and come back with post-traumatic stress disorder, right? right. From seeing this man get killed. But we can suffer from police brutality, but no one think black people fucking sick from seeing their own brother being murdered in front of his wife to be. You don't think that that traumatized a bunch of us black men in America and traumatized a bunch of black women in America and seeing it over and over play out with no edits. But if I say something, yeah, let me make sure this might be too hot for Facebook. <laughs> I've been take, I've been treading lightly. I'm just now starting to have the right to post certain things, so you know. It is. This is coming soon. I just pause it in between so the music. I don't I don't know. I never know what they're up to. Yeah, so pardon me, y'all. This is this is what I like to do on my time. This is a, these are other projects that got Nothing to do with this right now, but I ain't even take a look at it. I'd be so busy dealing with you guys with these stocks. And y'all understand, this helps me connect with people in the sports, music, and entertainment industry. You've, but actually, it's a dope class. I actually had a um, session with a real dope class. I think this might be it. No, that's not it. But actually, she's phenomenal. She did a great job when I was building with her. We just, that's why you're not going to find... That's why the Bible is the most talked about book on the planet. <laughs> My man, Tazariak. <laughs> so delusional. <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man, Tazariak. Yeah, I got I be taking it easy. That's why I, another reason I ain't been on Facebook that much because my energy be a certain way. And I'm like, damn, let me not jeopardize both my platforms, both my, both the pages I be on because Instagram had me hemmed up where I couldn't even put a title on my videos. No one could share my joints. They had me. And this is a very important tool to communicate with everybody. So I got to sometimes hold my tongue. That's why I'm like, yo, I got to post exclusive joints on the website, have that community and just, I could be raw, you know? Because the censorship, man, they just stop you. You can't share. You can't share the video. I can't share the video. They'll mute my video, make it all blank. It's crazy. So annoying. Oh, you see that? You see that tiger paw? <laughs> you know, do a little optics. Put a little alky there. Make people be like, yeah, you know, that's why I fuck with bro. Put like, you got the alcohol there. And then they see that tiger paw there, the bigger bottle. Amen. It'd be there subconsciously. One day when I teach about it, then 
people connect with it, realize they can take the herbs. So you just gotta play the game. Just hope people understand what I'm doing. Gotta play the game. Gotta play the game. I'm just chilling. Okay, so I was going bike riding to some shit again. I just wanted to make sure I prepared. Yeah, Floyd, man. Floyd, at any given moment, got some stuff going on. Hold on real quick. I'm just putting this laptop up. <laughs> Alright, yeah. It's an Apple laptop, it's just a brand new one. It's the Illuminati laptop, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, the beach was open, but then the riot shit happened, man. Threw off the whole vibe, man. Why, why these people gotta just be hating, man? Messing up the world, man. Messing up our situation. Damn, they be fucking up a good thing. We could just live on this planet and really take it to different heights. Dang, dude. this beast be just wilding. Like I said, I'm lighting up on my speech. I just wanted to really focus on just doing our thing. But the beach is right there, y'all. The beach is literally right there. Walk right over there, the beach is right there. You walk past the last tree you see right there, that's the beach right there. Walk right into the ocean. That's what I like over here. Jamal Jones, you made money with Hurt Stock. Please do a 30 second video, say your name, your city and state, and you get money. Your name, city and state, and your experience. I say I'm in the class and I made such and such money due to Brother Polite. Always make sure it's due to Brother Polite, so that way I can edit it and it, and it can look real good. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin. You said I wanted the goats. Appreciate me for real, appreciate that. Just got my goal in the crisis course. Appreciate that, man. I will make sure you good money. The real Sean B. Look at my man. Mentioned me in the story. I'm sure he posted something dope. I'm going to repost it too. You take the class. A lot of the questions sometimes when y'all ask, I look to answer questions that I'm not used to seeing because when people ask the conventional, how much should I invest? I always say, yo, whatever you got that you could afford to invest, start playing with it so you can learn. There's no number on it. I can't tell you a number. I can only tell you as, like the common sense thing is, hey, the more money you put, the more money you can make. But my thing is the more money you put, the less money you, you have to make an effort to make or look for. <laughs> the more money you put, now you can start playing with a penny or two or five pennies or 10 pennies. That's the goal. The goal is to make enough money where all you need is pennies. Because pennies are all over the place. It's a numbers game. Build up enough money so all you need is to get five cent profit and <laughs> get up out of there. You made five hundred dollars. How many times can you get five cents from a stock you invest in? It's crazy. Signed up for monthly memberships. Word. <clears throat> get that ID card. New Covenant membership ID card. We on it. We, yo, I'm telling you, I tightened up a lot of stuff because what I'm doing is too valuable to have hiccups that people in our community want to go out their way and constantly exploit instead of contribute to the community. If you see I was lacking in something, help me contribute, help me fix it, help me work to get everything right, help me, help me with customer service, help me with all, but you know, people just want to see you go to hell because secretly they're just jealous that you're moving. So it's okay. I eat those. It ain't tearing me down. I just left everything alone. Build up a whole another situation outside the community because I don't need to come to the community to make money. Came back, they're like, oh, he must be broke. So that's why he came back. Are you fucking kidding me? I ain't around all these people being broke now. And like I said, whatever success that I obtain, I share with my community. So like I said, the things that the homie Floyd was telling me yesterday that, that he's willing to do to empower me as far as different business and everything he was introducing me to. 
I'm like, yo, that's staying in my mind more than he probably even realized right now. I know he don't even think, I'm even thinking about that. You know, but I'm like, okay, I hear you. I'm about to go in and watch out, watch out. I make my empowerment filter into your empowerment. But yeah, gold in the crisis, man. Get those books. Working full time, man. I can't wait to see you guys' testimonials. I put some of them up separately. Could that's fly? But then I'm going to do a collage. I'm going to have several collages. So many of y'all do several collages. And I just want them to know that there's a community of melanated people. And yo, there's people that's non-black that be taking the course. I ain't going to be over here. Are you black or white? So I can deny you. I can't do that. But what, what's dope about it is shit. That these people can accredit a, a brother for doing it. And what's even wild is that our own people be over here. They, they want to confide in negativity. But when it's positive, they want to second guess it. But other races, I got other races that take the class and post and i'm like yo hold on let me go to their page i'm like well you know hey yo you know just tell you people don't kill us shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying keep me alive because i'm helping you the fuck it's just like yo what are, what are we waiting on see they don't play no games the other races just keep it a thousand like yo they can learn from someone to get the information they're gonna get it us we gotta we got this self-hate and this doubt that other people has helped put into us they put a lot of doubt into it. So that's every time you hear a brother doing great, someone got to question it. Yo, but you know, I don't think that's going to work out. If I could just tell you guys a scenario that was going on with one of the sisters that I know and a family member of theirs that put speculation in their mind, you'd be like, oh, shoot. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I don't even want to get too technical because I don't know their family would be watching and I don't want to implicate nobody <laughs> it's just a damn shame people be so busy worrying about if I'm on the level and they wind up doing things that really can be considered underhanded and definitely a great hindrance love you too you know me man I love this but that's what I say you know if I have a lot of money I stole it if I have a dope house it's rented. I got several wives. I'm going to be in different houses. He's hopping around place to place because he's evicted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do nothing without these people on me. Don't show my child. Oh, he killed this child. How you know that and the police don't know that? How you found out and the police don't know? Like, how you know all this crazy shit that gets people locked up but the police ain't locked me up for it? People are unbelievable. And people don't even say to themselves, how are these people knowing all these incredible things about this guy? That's super illegal. But the lie is more believable than the truth. Because we think low of ourselves. Man, I'm all about jacuzzi time. Y'all better not play with me. That's my time. I'm definitely about that life. Let me see if I can get enough light. Yeah. It's dope. Word, it's always something. Always something. Driving nice car is rented. Okay, if I'm renting a car, that means mean I got a lot of bread. God damn. Always something. Always. But like I said, if I say now, show me everything. Like, oh, polite, you ain't on the front lines? Okay, I'll show you my videos with me putting myself out there. On the so-called front lines that you're talking about Show me yours and let's add it up and see if you, you did more than me Being out there risking your life in front of police and army tanks and snipers and everything. Let's let's do it Like yo, if your shit don't add up to mine, it's chill Stop looking for a loophole or fault because I'm not going to you Looking for a loophole or fault, I'm not doing that to you I'm not doing random videos to, to tear you down and expose you and prove that something you ain't doing is right I don't got time for that like, yo, something you doing ain't right. Hopefully you get it right. That's how I look at it. Hopefully you get it right. Everybody has value. Hopefully you enhance your value, increase your value. That's the way I look at it. I can't be on planet Earth looking for your critique because I got things I got to fix within myself. I'm honest enough to say I got to fix things about my personality. And I got as long as I exist to do so. So I can't afford to take a day off or an hour or two off on you. Because then that's also taken away from me. 
Real talk. So it's just like, be careful. Yeah, be careful. Can't win. Can't, can't win. We hate ourselves, man. But this is a beautiful day. We made a lot of money as a group today. Shit, I want to. If only I could get all the stats of how much people made just today. We be having these days because when the economy is doing real good, oh my goodness. I get all those tags because we had these days before. I had I had these days at least five times already. But today seems, you know why today is so much? Because a lot of you are growing with me every week that we do the classes. So you're getting better and you're getting better. You're getting less fearful. You're sticking your foot out. You're like, oh shit, okay, I made $30. I should have made 300 Oh shit, I made 300 I could have made 3000 So now a lot of you is like, okay, more comfortable. So I know that's why it's so many testimonials today in particular. And that's okay. That's all right. Let's get it, man. So study the books. Join the community. Get the class. God damn it, everything that I teach you, get your bread back anyway. It's just common sense. It's a win-win. And if you and if you doubt, if you doubt, you go to the Facebook group. Hey, yo, so you doing good in the group? And the community will tell you. See, I got that benefit. <laughs> I can say, yo, you can go random to the group. And people are going to be like, yo, polite putting it down. Polite putting it down. I love what I do. I love being able to walk these streets and say, yo, so many people are saying, yo, I hope them make money. Do you know the power with, with the stigma that comes with money and black people? Do you know the power of what I'm doing? Where you can actually say, yo, there's a black man responsible for helping his people make money. And we're not talking about every now and then. With all the things that people are selling you on in our community. With all the things that they offer you to donate towards or pay. With all those different products and services that everyone is listening. Where is the people that say, yo, that was some good money I made. And, and it's a gift that keeps giving because you can keep making money. It's not like it's a one-time thing. And then on top of it, I'm sneaking real estate and everything else up in there. Because I care that much. I'm sneaking real estate in there. Y'all in the class, y'all know. I'm sending you to the links where you can invest in companies before they have a public offer. Where the real money at. Because if you was able to catch Amazon early, what would that have been like? So I'll show you where you could go and do that. I'm, yo, I don't think people really going to realize until probably the residual effect of the data that I've been given after probably a year or two. When a lot of you guys be just become set up conglomerates or become moguls because it's going to happen out of our group because a lot of us we already conscious we already know how powerful we already are we already know how powerful we are we know how conscious we are we know how blessed we are we know how divine we are so when you give people that's aware of their own divinity this type of information and we start applying ourselves and studying it every week we like yo we're gonna buy this when you finally realize, like, yo, I actually can be master of my own destiny because money plays a role in it, unfortunately. And, but fortunate enough, we got access to the information. Yo, people who are in that state of mind where they don't have no limitations, all they just need to do is get the, get the connect. There's no more disconnect. Now you got the connect. I'm the goddamn connect. Now you connect it. You sit there and you apply yourself. You master this because you already have an amazing mind. You're already phenomenal. No matter how hard you think things are, you're actually phenomenal. So if you know this and you go into this information, yo, you could take this and leverage your results and finally get that business you always wanted to set up. Finally fund your child's education the way you wanted to do it. Yo, like, come on, man. This, yo, people don't even understand. Come on. Come on. Look what I'm doing. And then I hit you with the health on top of it. And when I start speaking to you about the health, look who popped up, Dr. Sabi's son. Say so. Look how the universe works. <laughs> Man, there's no accidents, man, in the universe. And even chaos is a natural part of the order. I had to go through all of that to arrive at this point. Unsinged. They put me in hell and I came out without a hair missing. Unsinged. Come on now. I love what I do. Talk to me. I love what I do. I love what I do. And I love you. Real talk. I love what I do and I love you. I feel great. This impact is amazing. Hit up brotherpolite.com. Get your books, join your membership. 
join in, join, become a member, get your books, do whatever you gotta do. Just get up, get in the get in the cipher, get get activated. Activate. Be a part of something. Don't just keep talking about what black people need. Yo, what you what black people need is to find programs where they can individually succeed so they can contribute to the collective. Let's address the elephant in the room. Because all of that, yo, we got to do this together. We got to do that together. People be insecure to do this, that, and the third together. Because their own individual situation ain't right. I understand. So, now we got to find out how do we make your individual situation right or comfortable enough where we could do it. Well, you know what? Let's stop asking you guys for money without giving you something back in return. So, yeah, I want you to join the community. I'm going to create so many damn classes and, <clears throat> and art forms and opportunities for you for that five dollars a week that you can contribute to your community because your community is contributing to your livelihood contributing to your health contributing contributing to your wealth that's what we have to do we have to become more creative and more resourceful instead of freaking hustling our people talking about just gossiping i'm here to save you from whoever's hustling people and that don't change your your rent status and that don't make your health any better in fact it stresses you out watching negativity what are we talking about here oh conspiracy theories and illuminati and the government is out to kill us okay good but how does that help you other than make you more stress where's the solutions come on and i could i could spend circles if i made a living talking negative about people then i would be able to prove it i would be able to go all in there but what is the glory in tearing people down that's just an excuse to say I don't really have an answer for you. That's a distraction. I'm too smart for that. I'm too smart to be broke and it costs way too much to be poor. So listen, people, I'm about to be out of here. My good brothers and sisters, just wanted to give you an aesthetic of peace. I know we see a lot of riots and everything going on. Let me give you some imagery of peace, some definite signs of hope. Let's give you some images of peace, definite signs of hope. A concept of more than just positivity, but promise. Let's do that. <clears throat> Brother Polite Investment Group. That's what it's called. BPI Group. That's the Facebook group. BPI Group. Go to the website, brotherpolite.com. That's where you can buy the course. The course is called Gold in the Crisis. You also got the books there. <laughs> I'm very proud of the people dealing with the book publishing company. So you know I got my own book publishing company. You know how I produce the books myself because I refuse for Amazon to make money off of what I give. I refuse. My people got to make money off of whatever it is that we produce. I will not use third parties to the best of my ability. I'm not using them. I stand on that. We're going to produce our own and sell it to our own. So I publish the books. I publish other people's books in our community after we proofread it and make sure that the we agree with the message. And that's the direction we got to take. I'm really about that life. We're going to talk about that on the next episode <laughs> of New Covenant Sauce. All right? So join that Facebook group. I know we talk about a lot. Brotherpolite.com is the website. Join the Facebook group. Join the community if you can. Purchase your book. Start studying. You, there's, we could be in our own. Let's get it in, man. Let's yo, challenge yourself and, and get up out of the situation before this virus is done. Word. We're gonna enjoy ourselves, man. We're gonna take this to a whole nother level. Hey, what's up, guy? Word. Word. <laughs> oh, it's polite? Yeah, oh, polite. It's so, polite. Um, let me ask you this because I'm a Moor. Okay. I don't know if you know about Moor science. Yeah, okay. And um, I like mm -hmm. to be able to like, come clear with yeah. how you paint into somebody else's um life like your vibe your vibe you know you, when you vibe with somebody you can see people like like him he's a he's a he's a green type of individual because he's looking to be able to grow as an individual you know what i'm saying when, when you see when you see when you see red you see you see like pretty much like republicans they use red and they use they use blue for you know for business blue is a is a is a, is a business color you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying when it comes